and welcome. I'm Jackie Lockie, your financial planning maestro. It's not long to go now until the next financial plan submission deadline window closes for the CISI's Level 7 Advanced Financial Planning Diploma. If you are about to send in your case study, if you are getting your financial plan ready, or maybe it's even ready, then here are a few tips to help you. Tip number one, if you're not quite finished, don't panic. Ah, don't do it, it'll be fine. You've got to keep your cool now and push on to do the last bits that you need to do to make sure that it, you've done yourself justice in time for that window deadline. If you have finished your financial plan and you're kind of there or thereabouts with all the wording, you're happy with your appendices, then now is the time to leave it alone, go away, do something completely different, and then come back to it with a fresh pair of eyes once your brain has wound down and relaxed a little. Then you can mark it against the assessment criteria and hopefully that'll give you the opportunity to tweak any final little sentences, any sentences that you maybe you haven't finished or paragraphs that don't quite make sense can make all the difference between being successful and not on this attempt. Those of you who haven't finished all your wording yet and got the whole plan together, by now you're probably happy with the appendices. All you've got to do now is concentrate on putting together the financial plan and the wording that essentially explains to the client exactly what your spreadsheets are trying to tell them. Remember to follow the structure on my website and that is look at the short-term goals first, then move on to the retirement or cash flow planning element. Then third is the protection element and finally the estate planning part. If you tackle things in that order, then the plan will start to flow much better. The financial plan is going to be read by the assessors, but it's not for the assessors. Your financial plan needs to be written for your clients, written to your clients. Make sure that you label all your pages, make sure that you have a contents page, an index of some sort, so that the assessors, if you aren't successful on this attempt, the assessors can flag the particular areas. Next tip is to read the CISI assessors feedback. And that document is available on the CISI website and also I have popped it in the comments box to this video too. So don't forget to read that and just give yourself a mental check. Have you completed all of those things? Make sure that if this is your second or third submission, be careful to label it correctly. Then be careful to make sure that you send in the correct version. I wish you the best of luck with your submissions. I'm still here to support you in your journey to become a CFP professional. Best of luck with it all. Bye for now.